Hello people, I'm Jabby Kowe, joined by Sintel Kowe. We're looking at King of Vegetable Recipe, Sambar Recipe with four side dish. Veg Village Food Cooking in Village. Ooh. This is from the Village Cooking Channel. If you guys enjoyed the video that we're about to watch, please make sure to subscribe to their channel. Tell them Jabby sent you. While you're here, make sure you subscribe to Sintel, youtube.com slash Sintel. Subscribe here as well, bell icon, all notifications. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. After you watch this video, I'm confusing my intro with my outro because I'm hungry again. Yes, and we're over here looking at vegetables and you know I love mm -hmm. some veggies. That's right, that's right. Uh, Sintel is a recently converted um, vegetarian cult member. <laughs> Come join us. I'm just joking. I know a lot of our audience is vegetarian, so this is perfect. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, look at the beautiful colors of all of that produce. What is that? You know what that is? I don't know what that is. Oh, it is I see carrots. Okay, no, uh, Pe uh, peas. Peas, yeah, peas. Is that okra? O okra, yeah. Radishes. No, that's not radishes. Yeah, that's like that. it. All like eggplant. That's an interesting looking eggplant. Look at all know. of that. Some onions. It just you're, the like it. you're the I vegetable aficionado I here. I swear I can like almost smell it. Look at that garlic. <laughs> I wonder what those are, like the little purple ones. Because they look like mini eggplants. Are you an eggplant? You'd be familiar with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, our food is like filled with so many like... Reservatives? Yeah. Steroids? I guess what's in the bucket. That guy's a professional YouTuber. Oh, he's got size. He's with it. Great energy. Is that corn? I don't know. Oh, well, normally they like have a, a subtitle for what it is, so okay. I'm, just, I'm relying on you right now to tell me what's oh, up. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm... Seeds? Is, I'm is learning that, right with you, man. Is that, is that those seeds? Huh? Look how bright that yellow is, man. All that living food, man. That dead archaic meat. <laughs> okay. Yep. Let's go! I bet if you're like a kid and you've been hearing that your whole life, I bet that's like Pavlov's dog. You just start drooling immediately when you hear that rolling sound. Uh -huh. You're like, oh, something's about to get, get going. Potatoes, you can't go wrong with them. Is that green beans? What is that? Or are those? Yeah, green beans. What is that? That's the dinner bell. It looks in pieces, it looks like zucchini. I wanna know what that what that is like. Some kind of paste. Some flavor. That's gotta be eggplant, right? I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe that's how eggplant is supposed to really look like and not be so big and inflated like how it is here. Yeah, I heard strawberries like in the wild, like actual strawberries are really small and pack a lot of flavor. I wonder what kind of oil oh, there it we is. Go. No, it's... Must be now, it's... Oh, that's a big, big bowl, dude. Shallots, shallots. 
Chalice, that's what it is. I don't know what chalice are. Yeah! Cook up all that goodness! And I love some garlic, man, that's my thing. Man, still out there room. just rolling out that flavor. Yes, let's go. Battery guy. I don't know what that is. is it no, brinjol? that's it. That's the purple thing that we thought was uh Brinjal. Brinjal? That's what it said a second ago. Beans. Broad beans. beans. Okay. Radishes. Get it! Mm. Get it! <laughs> Drumsticks. Drumsticks look surprisingly like that. Okay. I recognize potato. <laughs> What is that called, I wonder? Please show me the name. I just love how bright the colors look, and that's just coming from like living, something that was once living and fresh. And it's pretty. And ground turmeric paste. I told you, some kind of paste. Okay. Woo -wee. Look at all that salt. Did your, do you know people that like, um, they don't use measuring sticks, you know, pinch and a punch. And ground cumin seed, fennel seed, coriander paste. My grandmother, and actually my mom too, and actually my baby, they don't use measuring cups anymore. So when I just see them, like, you know, you wonder, it's like, man, is that enough? And I saw them, like, grab that big thing of salt. I'm like, how do you, like, know? But you just know, right? Mm -hmm. like, like, my grandma would just be like, yeah, just give me the, give me the back of me. Just, yeah, yeah, G give me the pepper, just, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mm, it's just in here, man. Yeah. That's what you call cooking with love. My man got love for this food. Look how beautiful red that is. What's the name of the that uh, cooking channel lady who w went to prison for a little bit? Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. That's what my ex-girlfriend called it. She says, I'm just going to Martha Stewart this. And she yeah, just sort just, of guesses it. Yeah. I don't even know if that's Martha Stewart's thing, but that's what my ex told me. And mm -hmm. so ever since then, I call it Martha Stewarting it. Listen, if I see you cooking and you just know, you could just fill out the ingredients, bam, you know it's going to be good. Yep. You know it's going to be good. You're doing with the pro? Yeah, man. Hey. And ground chili paste. That's what it was. That's what he was rolling out the chili. Yes. Okay. I couldn't see it. Yeah. It's been a broth. Oh, soaked doll water. It says butter. Is that what that is? I think doll is butter. I might be wrong. Okay. I'll make sure. I should know. Like, it. my taste buds are like, I don't want to know what that ingredient tastes like. I'm just clueless. But I can imagine what it's all so, like. So, mung doll and chore doll. Doll is a term originating in the Indian subcontinent for dried split pulses that do not require soaking before cooking. India is the largest producer of pulses in the world. The term is also used for various soups prepared from, from these pulses. Oh, I guess I was way off. Mm. I don't know what doll is. It's colorful. Lentils are a staple ingredient in cuisines mm -hmm. from the Indian subcontinent clockwise from upper level, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm not sure, man. But he said dal, right? That's what yeah. that was, the the, the liquid? Mm -hmm. Soaked mung dal and tor dal. Yeah, because I don't know. Lentils, peas, and beans mm -hmm. that do not require soaking before cooking. But that is soaked. And that's not even the beans. It's just, I guess, I don't know, maybe it's like the remnants or maybe they soaked it out, took the beans out, and then, you know, pouring that in. Like, I got a crib, the juice that comes from, like, I don't know, um, from like collard greens and stuff, we call it pot liquor. <laughs> That's what's called, it's good, man. <laughs> you get you some, I should have made some, I'm gonna get you some greens, man, get you on some pot liquor. That looks like, you know, the liquor that will come off of whatever those herbs were that got ground up. Mm -hmm. I'm just guessing here. Yeah, doll just seems to be like the lentil stuff from what I'm gathering here. I'm sure Achara's rolling her eyes hard and just cringing as she edits this video. Tanne. 
I know what water is. Yeah. <laughs> Okra. It may not be that. It may be something else. I think it's okay. That's what it looks like from here. Windy guy, is he gonna say it? I'm gonna call it something else. That color looks yummy. Homemade ghee. Ghee is butter. Ah. I think ghee is butter. Coriander leaves. How do I confuse ghee and salt? Ghee is clarified butter, aka butter, that has been simmered and strained to remove all water. Traditionally made ginger, ginger root oil. Starting all over again. Onions. Starting all over again. You're taking a second pot. Yeah, he's literally going through the whole process again. They gotta hit that eight minute vi uh, YouTube video mark. I don't know, that has a different texture. That looks different. Fried right, lady finger. Huh. Okra. Okra, it is okra. Yeah. Okay. I just looked it up. I, I was okra. pretty sure it was okra. Mango. Mango. Uh, That's mango? That's maybe it's different. Uh, mango is an orange fruit. At least that's the name I've been eating. Chickpeas! That's a lot Hmm. <laughs> Sago? I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Samia! Put it in the Cut it in the Huh! I wonder if that's like a pasta or something. Sago is starch extracted from the spongy center or pith of various tropical palm stems, especially those of Metroxylon sagu. It is a major staple food of the lowland peoples of New Guinea and the Moluccas, hmm. where it is called Sak Sak and Rabia and Sagu. It's starting to look good even though I can't have milk. Oh, that's sugar. sugar. That's a dessert. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a dessert of some kind. That is already looking yummy. Whatever that is. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that looks like it should be like a, like a little white bag that you like munch on walking up and down the street or something. This is definitely some kind of a sweet, it must be like a yogurt thing. Yes, get it in. Mm. That's the look of a man that is satisfied. So someone in one of the comments of someone in the comments of one of my videos said that eating with the hands actually increases the flavor. It says something to your brain when you're eating with your hand. Mm. That like it, it influences the flavor somehow. I don't really know if there's any validity to that, mm -hmm. but I know that things taste different when I use a plastic utensil versus, you know, a metal. And yeah, guess to me, it makes you closer to your food, man. Yeah. So he uses the chips and that yogurt paste thing. And then they bring the food here to a few people. That's why they're these huge pots of food. Right. I saw what the dessert looking thing looked like it was in a tin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he is using it with that. That was good. Right. Yeah. It made me hungry. Yeah. I mean, I wish I could have dairy because there was some stuff in there that looked quite delicious. I, I, I did have that thought too. I was like, the minute they do the dairy in there, I was like, man, I can't eat it now. But are you lactose intolerant, or no. is it just because you're vegetarian? Yeah, you know, I can put it in my mouth and chew it and taste it. <laughs> so as long as I don't swallow it. That, sound, that sounds terrible out of context. <laughs> yeah, I, I realize there's a whole world of additional vegetables that you, I just don't typically see at my grocery store. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, there's room for growth. For me, my favorite part was when he started putting the cashews and the grapes and whatnot into that thing. I'm like, oh God, that looks yummy already. Mm -hmm. Cause like, that's all stuff I recognize though. Even the stuff I didn't recognize, like this, the big pot, like mm -hmm. once it started getting that like, orange brown consistency to it, it started to look delicious even to me, even though I don't know what I'm looking at, even though I'm a meat eater, that looked yummy to me. So does this get you inspired to do some like farm work and make your own food? No, <laughs> I, I'm very just a farmer. I'm still that person that's gonna go to the, to the grocery store and have it already pre-cut and cooked and, and, and ready to go. I mean, you know, I, I am an eater of the food, yeah. not a uh, creator of the food. You know? Well, I just find it, you know what I find so interesting about these kinds of videos, especially like sometimes you see them preparing food and there's like a fly nearby and whatever. And there's a part of my brain that's going, well, this is how it's actually prepared though. Yeah. Like this is how food is actually acquired out of the ground. It just tells you like how spoiled we are. Mm -hmm. I agree with Cause that. Cause we can go to the grocery store, everything's packaged yeah. and, and sanitary and whatnot, but it's like, it came from the outside yeah. at some point. <laughs> yeah. It's not grown inside of a, an enclosed facility, it needs right. sunlight yeah. and soil to grow. That always messes with my head because we're so conditioned to have everything very sanitized, but everything comes from the wild. I mean, the good stuff, the stuff that's good for you and that, you, like the colorful stuff you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you want your vegetables to have color. That's how you know it's actually better for you, mm -hmm. apparently. I don't know what, what, what that means, but I hear it a lot. And so it always messes with my head because especially as someone with OCDs about being clean and whatnot, mm -hmm. Like it messes with my brain. I'm like, so, so how do you feel about eating with your hands? Because, like, because culturally it's just different here, here in the yeah, states. Yeah, you don't do when that. When it comes to eating with your except hands. with French fries and well, burgers, French and fries. Hot dogs. Yeah, there, there, there are some foods like hand especially, foods. especially like foods. fast foods. Yeah, like like fast foods, it's acceptable to to eat with your hands. Pizza. But when you think of like something with the consistency of like a stew or rice. 
yeah, you just wouldn't hear. It's just it just wouldn't na naturally happen. But I'm curious when it comes to something that's that's got like sauces and stuff on it, like that's messy. Right. So how would you feel with with somebody who, who's really big on utensils? I'm open to doing it just to experience it. If it activates something in my brain that yeah. I've never experienced before in my yeah. life, because I'm OCD with cleanliness and stuff, it just like it always messes with me when I see that because I'm like, it's getting all over your hands. Yeah. And um, well, not that far down. I mean, you'd have yeah. to be really messy. I turn that part of my brain off mm. whenever I'm eating ribs. Yeah. It's still like, oh, let me. You know, use a napkin or a wipe to clean off my hands, even right. though they're gonna get dirty two seconds later. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, it's this weird thing because I, I the compulsion to be clean, and you see people there just eating and eating and, and eating. Just getting it in. Yeah, just yeah. getting it in. So I am curious to try out meals in that fashion. Yeah, because I know me, uh, there would probably be like a, a big stack of just used like napkins, which is a waste. And you, instead, you know, these these. Yeah, but that's America. Yeah, like, but that's, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. that's what I'm conditioned conditioned to do. So it's like, okay, I got I got to throw that away and just get at it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a different and experience. You you said something to me regarding um, eating with your hands, bringing out the flavor more. Being yeah, just money, to yeah. the food yeah. and all that. So it's making me like think about that a little bit and be like, okay, well maybe we should just try something just to see like how how that feels and get out of our comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing to Village Cooking Channel. There's a link in the description below. Just scroll down, hit that link, and then give the original an upvote and subscribe. And uh, also, please subscribe here. Subscribe to Sintel, youtube.com slash Sintel. Lots of places to subscribe to. It's a party. <laughs> and uh, check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is... It's your boy. Peace out.